I'm really excited. Uh, I got this cool mouth rig set up super quickly um, with no keyframes. It's simply expressions and audio tracks. Um, and I'm really excited to show you how I made it. So let's check it out. Here in After Effects, I got a brand new project opened, and I'm gonna just dive right in. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. <laughs> Hopefully, you can follow along. So, starting with a new composition, I typically will just keep it at 1080, 24 frames per second. Do you? It doesn't need to be anything specific here, but I will rename it Lip Sync. Okay, cool. So, um, to start, I'm gonna Go up to view while in the composition. Go up to view and show grid and then snap to grid. This is just gonna help us to make a symmetrical mouth rig. So um, with the pen tool selected, you can click and then hold shift to drag out the handles. Um, having some good handles here is pretty important because when you're moving the path later you can't actually create handles after the fact so get them right now if you can um, and try to keep everything match it up symmetrical all right so that shape looks good I'm gonna go ahead and want kind of like a purplish color for these lips and I'm gonna make them a hundred pixels for the width of the stroke. Great. Re rename the layer, lips. And now I want to duplicate this layer, drag it down. This bottom one is going to be the mouth. And I'm actually going to put a fill in this one, which will be black. Already got that selected. Um, and now, opening up both of these, I want to make sure that they can both move together. I don't want to have to um, control them each independently. So. In order to do that, because they are the same shape right now, uh, you just got to open up the path in the shape layer and you can pick whip the bottom one to the top. That's it. Now, anytime I move this top shape, the bottom one will move with it. Handy little trick, very, very useful. I no longer need this mouth one open, so what I'll do is just lock that layer. I'll actually center it first. Control, double click on the pan behind tool to center the anchor point. Now lock it. And I will do the same with this guy. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer. This is going to be the teeth. And essentially it's the same concept. I'm creating the teeth with a stroke, but this will be uh, three points. So we got one point here one point in the center, which I will also pull out some handles there, and then a last one here. I want to get rid of the fill, and also change this to like kind of a whitish color. Maybe a hint of yellow. Cool. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. Rename it. Control D, duplicate. Bottom teeth. We'll drag that below and then take both of them and drag them below, below the lips. So now I can move this one down a little. And it already looks like a mouth. That's very cool. So selecting both of these I'm gonna center their anchor points and before moving on I just want to actually add an effect to both of these this is the go down to channel set mat and I just want to set setting the mat is going to take the alpha from a different layer and basically mask off th that area so now if I were to move this shape outside of the bounds of the mouth, it's masked. Whereas if I do that with the bottom teeth here, 
they'll still stick out. So with that done, control C, I'm gonna copy and paste that effect onto the bottom teeth. Okay, now I can start actually animating. So, which is really cool. Um, before I bring in my audio, what I'm going to do is I wanna create controllers that are going to help move this mouth rig. Um, what you can do is go into the path and move it manually, but then you'd have to keyframe everything. And the whole point of this is to make it automatic. So uh, what I'm gonna use is a built-in plugin. It ships with After Effects and it's called Create Nulls from Paths. You can find that in the window menu and uh, it opens up this handy little box here. What I wanna do is with the path selected, I'm going to select points follow nulls. What this does is it creates a null for each point in the path that you can now move the path with. Super handy. Now I'm gonna rename all these. All right, I only need the top and the bottom, so I'm gonna take the left and the right here, and I'm going to shy them, make them invisible, and then lock them. Now if I pull on the shy, uh, they're, out of, uh, they're out of the way, which is good. And now, going a step further, I actually only need the Y position of each of these. So I can right click on the Y position and separate dimensions. Uh, so we've got X and Y that we can control independently now. Exactly what I want. Same with this bottom layer. And now I can drag in my audio. Bring that in and I have these two audio files that I'm going to be using. Uh, they're both free from freesound.org. I'm linking the author in the description below. Start with this one, dragging it in. And I made this composition a little bit long. It's that's like 17 seconds or so. And I'm pretty sure all I wanna do is like a small section of this clip just for an example purpose. So we'll run it right about here, and I'll play you the sound so you can hear it. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. And you can see, you can hear that it's a super high quality, well recorded um, track, which is really important to getting a good take from the animation, from automating perspective. You also can see that there's really minimal background noise, and that is also super important. Having a decent wave peak and having silence in the background is, is key. If you're recording yourself, you, you definitely wanna make sure to have a high quality recording before going into the automation process. But anyway, that said, I have a good one here. I can use that. Okay, so I have my audio file. I'm gonna right click, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. This creates a new null object layer right here with keyframes that match the amplitude of the audio file. You can do so much with these files, but right now I just need the both channels layer open, and I'm going to rename this Lip Sync. And I'm going to try to spell lip correctly. All right. <laughs> now, if I go back to my top lip, lip controller, grabbing the Y position here, I'm going to Alt left click on the stopwatch and do something really quick in the expression panel here. I'm gonna add a plus sign at the end and then pick whip to my audio channel. And now what that's gonna do is it's gonna add the value of the audio on top of the value of my position, the Y position. So you'll see when I play it back just like that. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good. It moves the lips a little bit. It's pretty minor, and it's actually in the opposite direction of what I want. So at the end of that, I'm going to amend it by adding a multiply, which is the ask, asterisk, negative five. So that'll change the direction, and it'll amplify it by five. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good night. It's pretty good. And you can still move the lip anywhere you want. And it will. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Accordingly. So 
This is a really, really handy way of doing things, but I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I actually don't think I need the snap to grid on anymore because I have all my stuff set up, so. Let's go like about here. And I'm gonna basically copy that expression and modify it for the bottom lips here. So I'll left click on the Y position stopwatch and control V, paste that. Instead of being negative five, I'm gonna make that 20. So that goes in the opposite direction and it's big. Let's see how it looks. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good. Pretty good. I'll go up a little bit more on that. Kind of drag these down so it's more of a smile. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Perfect. All right, now I want to repeat this for the teeth so that they'll move a little bit as well. Uh, so starting with the top teeth, I'll go to contents, select the path, points follow nose, and rename. Don't need the left and the right, so I will shy them. Make them invisible, lock them. And uh, I can do the same for the bottom right now. I might not want to shy them just yet though, because I think I'm gonna need to move them, so. Select the path, points follow nose, rename. I won't even make them disappear yet. Bring them back. I'm just gonna move everything when I need to. Um, okay. So now I'm just going to adjust the teeth so that they rest where I would like them to. And I won't be selecting the teeth at all anymore. It's really just controlled all by these nulls, which is awesome. So let's bring this middle one down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to now select all the ones I want to shy. And we'll make them invisible. Lock them. Shy them. So, as you remember, uh, right click on position, separate dimensions. Same with this one. And in the Y position, Alt-Left click. I can still copy paste that effect here. Uh, now this is the bottom set of teeth. So what I wanna do, that was 20 for the lips. So I want this to be slightly less. So I'm gonna say 12 and see how that looks. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good night. It's amazing. And for the top one, I'll left click, control V, paste. Um, instead of being negative five, I'm gonna make that negative 2.5. So it's just a little less extreme. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. That looks great. Um, I think I want the bottom teeth to go a little bit lower, so I'll unshy everything. And unlock those guys. So I can just move them down a smidge. Move that middle a smidge. And Maybe make it 14 instead of 12. Good night, little one. Sleep tight. Good. And that is that is as cheap as you can get for a mouth rig, but it works pretty decent. Um, you know, it's it's nothing amazing, but it's not super ram heavy. Uh, it's automatic and really passable if you have a project you need to do really quickly, or if the mouth movements aren't 
super important to be um, really expressive. Uh, it works really, really well. And then the bonus here is you can swap audio and it will um, be super easy because everything is running off of this name, lip sync. If I were to say bring in this other file here, now we have a new audio file. Everything's still gonna move to the old one, but you're so lazy. There we go. Uh, what I'll do is with the other audio file off, I'm gonna repeat this um, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. That creates a new no layer here. And if I drag that over here, all I have to do is rename that lip sync and delete this one. And it'll update all the movements. You're so lazy. You can do this infinitely. It's pretty great. Well, there you go. I, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you make anything from it, I'd love to see what you do. Uh, love to see what you do with it. And of course, um, it really helped me out. If you give a like and subscribe, uh, it really helps the channel out and shares the knowledge. Um, we're all in this together, right? Uh, all right. Till next time. Take care.